What's going on YouTube? This is your boy Andrew Tucker And yes, yes, you see the title You know what I'm saying? You see the title And this is basically my early prediction You know what I'm saying? This is my early prediction And like I said, you see the title uh, The thing is this Whenever the fight get made Whenever the fight get made, I believe, I just really believe 2018, the fight will happen. I mean, two of the best heavyweights going at it. Two of the best heavyweights going at each other. You know what I'm saying? And I just strongly believe, I strongly believe 2018 it will happen that's what i believe and i'm just gonna give my early prediction you know people have their opinions you know people may, people may feel it may go this way people may feel it may go the other way some people you know a fighter is met the fighter that a fight of that caliber you know two opponents like anthony joshua and Deontay Wilder, you know what I'm saying? Two of the top heavyweights, you know, a fight of that caliber, you know, a fight of that magnitude. You know, it can be a 50-50. You know, I can I can understand why people say 50-50. You know what I mean? And I can understand why people say why they feel that Deontay Wilder can stop Anthony Joshua I understand why they say that and I know the reason why they say that I know that Anthony Joshua chin is suspect and he have been dropped before he have went down before Deontay Wilder never hit the never hit the ground he never hit the campus so yes he you know he he is a heavyweight along with Anthony Joshua you know that hits hard that has power in both left and right hand and he and he does hit hard now we know that Anthony Joshua is, is the bigger guy you know he, he you know he's bigger muscular wise you know he's big you know he's bigger he's buff you know muscles you know uh so automatically you assume that he hits harder or he's the stronger guy you know what i mean because he because he carry muscles big muscles okay yeah now you may feel that way you may feel just because he's the bigger guy you know that he hits harder that's not always the case matter of fact that's not the case you know just because you feel that a fighter is bigger and you feel that he may be stronger that he automatically hits harder and no Deontay Wilder has power in his left and right hand just like Anthony Joshua now this is how I feel about these two going at it this is my early prediction you know what i mean i feel that this fight is going to be a great fight it's going to be a war and i do believe that anthony joshua can outbox deontay wilder i do believe that because i feel that he's a little bit more skilled than deontay wilder i feel that they both are good boxers but I feel that Anthony Joshua is a little bit more skilled than Deontay Wilder. I believe they are both athletic. I believe they are both strong, hard-hitting fighters. They both carry power. And they are and they and they and they are both strong heavyweights. I I do believe that Deontay Wilder, Deontay Wilder can catch Anthony Joshua slipping and and 
can can get him out of there. I do believe that Deontay Wilder can stop Anthony Joshua. I do believe that. Just like I believe that Anthony Joshua can stop Deontay Wilder. So that's that's why I can go with the people saying 50-50. Because I believe that Anthony Joshua can stop Deontay Wilder. Just like I believe Deontay Wilder can stop Anthony Joshua. I just believe that Anthony Joshua is a little bit more skilled than Deontay Wilder. And I know he know going into that fight whenever the fight whenever the fight happens. I know that he know that he have to that he have to go into that fight being smart and he have he have he most definitely have gotten better with defense judging his last fight he most definitely got better with the defense he most definitely got better with the defense because he's going to have to go in that fight with great defense he's he can counter he's a good counter puncher matter of fact he's a great counter puncher he can box he can be aggressive just like Deontay Wilder they can they people may may arguably say that Deontay Wilder is a little bit more aggressive than Anthony Joshua. Um they are both aggressive fighters. I can I can honestly say that they both can box. I just feel that Anthony Joshua is a little bit more skilled than Deontay Wilder. That's why I believe that this fight is gonna be a good fight. Because both of these guys, you know, can fight, you know, and Deontay Wilder can box a little bit. I just feel that Anthony Joshua is the better boxer. You know, they both hit hard, you know, and um, I just, I see it two ways. I can see it not going past the 10th round, and I can see Anthony Joshua stopping Deontay Wilder. I can see Anthony Joshua. That's right, I said it. I can see Anthony Joshua stopping Deontay Wilder. And the other way I see it, it can the other way it can possibly go. I can see Deontay Wilder outboxing. No. Let me rephrase that. I can see Anthony Joshua outboxing. Deontay Wilder and beating Deontay Wilder in a 12 round decision that's what I can also see now if Anthony Joshua go into the fight being reckless and making any kind of mistake and not being on top of his game not being on his A game against this aggressive monster then I can see Deontay Wilder stopping him. But I just I just strongly feel I have this gut feeling that the that Deontay Wilder is gonna be stopped. That's just one way I see it. Deontay Wilder being stopped. Being stopped. I don't see the fight going past 10 rounds. Or I can see Anthony Joshua winning a 12 round decision in a very highly competitive fight that's also another way I see it that's also another way I see it you know but I just I just I just strongly believe that Anthony Joshua is going is going to defeat Deontay Wilder because he's the more skilled fighter and I just believe I just strongly believe that this fight is based on skill at the end of the day it's going to come down to who is more skilled than the other and I believe that Anthony Joshua is more skilled than Deontay Wilder but it's going to be a great fight Deontay, Deontay Wilder is going to test Anthony Joshua now when it comes to speed who's faster than the other people may get an edge to Deontay Wilder because he's smaller you know as far as size smaller so he they feel that he may be faster than 
Anthony Joshua. They feel that Deontay Wilder, some people may some people feel that he's faster, he's quicker than Anthony Joshua. And that's gonna play a major role in this fight. That he's gonna easily outbox Anthony Joshua, who I believe is the better is the better boxer. The more skilled fighter. Let's just say that. Because they both are good fighters. I just think that Anthony Joshua is a little bit more skilled. And I and just being honest, I just strongly believe he's gonna outbox him. So I can go, I'm just gonna go with the my early prediction. I'm just gonna go with the 12 round decision. Winning on the points. Winning on points. You know. I can see 12 round decision. A 12 round decision win. But I also feel to a certain extent that Anthony Joshua is going to stop Deontay Wilder. I, I can I, I not just strongly believe he's going to outbox him. I believe that um, Deontay Wilder is going to have some moments. Um, he's going to look good in, in some rounds. He's going to get frustrated. And then that's when AJ take effect. And people say AJ fades. You know, he, he fades. I guess you see that a little bit in the Klitschko fight, which Klitschko gave him, you know, the, gave him problems because he's a veteran. Klitschko is a, a, a legend. You know, he's a great, experienced fighter. You know, even don't matter the age. He, he, yeah, he, he, he was a certain age that he, what you would say, over the hill are of age. But at the same time, Klitschko still, at that point, at that point of his career, still a problem. You know, that's why he was able to give AJ uh, a, a hard time. And he was able to, AJ, you know, most definitely was caught slipping. And Klitschko had to show him that I am an experienced fighter and that I am a dangerous opponent. And that's what Klitschko did. And, but AJ was able to to pick himself back up and get the stoppage. You know that's what he was able to do, and that's 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 the heart of a champion. That's a heart of a warrior. That's a true champion. That's what true champions do. They get knocked down to get back up and continue to fight hard, and then come up shockingly. Come, you know, get the stoppage, you know, you know, come with the win, end up winning the fight, you know, so it, it was just, it was just a warrior mentality, you know, that AJ, a warrior mentality that AJ have, and he's going to show that against um, Deontay Wilder when that fight happened, he's going to show that, that's why it's going to be a great fight, because De Deontay Wilder is going to be tested Just like AJ is going to be tested Because Deontay Wilder is a strong Aggressive animal You know and he can box a little bit He just he just, he can, He's a little more He's just a little more aggressive you may say Or he's a little wild and he's also wild with his punches Like Not saying that he can't throw You know Can't throw correct punches You know he can throw a correct punch you know he can throw a right left a good hook with the uppercut when he wants to but he's not as sharp as AJ as far as putting his, putting his punches together he's not as sharp as AJ trust me AJ is the better boxer you know good with good timing and everything so timing versus speed we said we shall say you know AJ has great timing that's what people got to understand and realize so anyways, make sure you like, that's my early prediction, AJ Anthony Joshua wins, he beats, he beats Deontay Wilder, maybe late stoppage or maybe 12 round decision, you know, but I have AJ for the win, uh, if you dis, if you disagree, comment or, you know, make sure you like or dislike, it doesn't matter, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe. This is Andrew Tucker, and that was my early prediction. Uh, like I say, once again, be able just just make sure you comment if you disagree to let me know who you feel win this fight or win the fight whenever it takes place. But anyways, I'm Andrew Tucker, and I'm out. On to the next one.